and they love medicine here and it is day 50 of my juice cleanse I definitely had to do a video today on day 50 even though um, it wasn't a, it wasn't very eventful my life was um, you know my kids kind of showed up my older kids and they were kind of around today and so that's kind of what my day was about um, you know but then I got motivated to do some stuff in the garden and you know turn some dirt that kind of stuff my seeds are growing so quite a few of them have sprouted very excited I got some purple tomatillo and some food corn I don't know what I'm going to be able to do and what I'm not I hope I get some stuff to fruition um but you never know until you start right so um I actually want to like record that process and I think I will we'll see um but if I don't sorry but I'm gonna try um, but I'm really tired. I just wanted to do a like, yay me, day 50. Um, you know, if I look at it this way, if I only go till 90 days, I'm more than halfway there. Um, if I am going to 100 days, I'm halfway there. And if I end up going to like 120 days, then, you know, almost halfway there. So I'm excited that it's day 50 um, and I actually feel really super encouraged. So um, that's pretty much what's going on right now. I just feel really encouraged. Like I feel like I'm about to like make it over a hump. Just something in me just feels like that. Um, and I just have this really good feeling that um, hopefully I'll be able to get this blockage out of me soon and then, you know, start passing all the other stuff that's up in there more. Um, so that's something that I really want to accomplish and I'm just going to really stay focused and try to get those five juices in every day. I just can't do more than five guys. I've tried. Five is my limit. Um, and I feel really satiated that way. And, but when I don't do five, I feel like I'm starving by like dinner time when everybody's, when I'm doing everybody's dinner. But if I've already had four by dinner time and I'm like having my last one, I'm solid. I do not need to like nibble or anything. So um, that's kind of where um, I figured out that formula of like, okay, I have to have at least five so that I don't want to, you know, lick the dressing or like taste the everything, you know, I need because that's what starts to happen is I want to like taste the food I'm making. So sometimes I kind of have to because I'm like, I got to make sure it's whatever, but I just like put it right here, you know, kind of. And then throw it away and like not let anything go into my mouth just so I can get a little taste and see if I'm making their food right, right? Um, so maybe that's cheating a little bit, but um, yes, 50 days. It was really kind of cool. Um, I cannot wait to see where this takes me, and I like how optimistic I feel right now because um, I really. You know, I've had a hard last couple of days. If you've watched my videos and you know that because I've been talking about keeping it real and not wanting to, you know, hide the negative part of it. Um, or like, you know, like yesterday I was talking about seeing how um, I might be the one that's kind of a late bloomer in the sense that, um, you know, it might take me a little bit longer to have breakthroughs with this. But when I do have breakthroughs, it's going to be major. So um, hopefully that's what happens because... I feel like I, I don't know, like it's taking me a little bit longer to, you know, pass stuff and to like have the energy and the positive results. So I'm just kind of hanging in there um, and I'm not going to give up on this. Like, this is what I'm doing. I, I have to do this. It's like now I've made it 50 days. I can't stop now. 50 motherfucking days. Like, there's no way <laughs> I'm just going to keep going until something comes out. And I feel really, I just want to say I feel really blessed and I feel really grateful that um, my life is positioned in a way right now that I'm able to do this. And I really want to say that um, I got really complacent and um, really ungrateful about my life. And it was very hard for me to have gratitude and see the way my life was playing out exactly the way that it was supposed to because I was just so caught up in the depth of the emotions that I was having and 
um, obviously some brain fog and all that kind of stuff. It really just, the mental health got really, really poor there for a while. So, um, it feels good to like not feel like that anymore. And just the thought of that it's even going to get better than what it is right now is just like, oh, I can't wait because I just want to feel like a whole human being. I really, really do. And I don't even know the last time I really, like, felt like I could, like, accomplish a lot. Um, and now, even though I'm still really struggling to do things, um, I have a lot more energy in the sense that, like, you know, I'm on my feet all day for the most part. Like, you know, doing the dishes or cleaning up or making juice or making food for somebody or like going outside and like I'll chill for a minute and just kind of soak up some rays or whatever, which I'm so excited. We're at that place. I love spring. Um, and just, I don't know, I've been making the most of my days. So even when I'm having a hard day or like the enemas are really taking it out of me, um, I'm still like, you know, doing stuff. So that's cool. Um, and then I realized, like, another thing, like, I don't know how other people do it, like, how they work out and stuff. And, like, maybe at some point in this fast, I'll want to do that because I'll have so much energy. But right now, I ain't working out shit. Like, I haven't been working out all these freaking years, even though I would have liked to have been, but I wasn't. And I'm not going to do it now. I'm trying to heal my body when I'm just not in that place. Now, once I have more energy and I've passed some of this stuff out of my body, I believe that I will want to you know, and that the nervous energy that I get, I don't know if that'll be there or not, but that like when I start to have lots of energy, I want to walk and I want to do stuff and I want to like get out and whatever, you know, I'm hoping some of that comes back. Like I hope, obviously I want all of that to come back. Um, so I'm just, but I'm feeling really positive and optimistic about that today. And, um, and I can feel some of the mental clarity coming back and, um, you know, starting to feel a little bit more like myself, but like, um, you know, such an observer of my own thoughts. That's something that's still happening of like, you know, negative things will still come in, but then, you know, I'm observing them like, Oh, why am I thinking like that? Or what, you know, where's that coming from? Or like, why am I thinking about this garbage or something like that? Like why, you know, I'm so used to filling my brain with stuff that it's like, now that I'm not, I see all the stuff that's just kind of just flowing through there without being checked you know, and so now I can like, you know, evaluate my thoughts and go, you know, that's not really, that doesn't line up with my heart. Like, that's not how I really feel like, or, you know, focusing on negative things about people and then going, you know what, I don't really want to focus on negative things about people. I actually want to see the positive things about people. Yes, it's important to be realistic about how people are and the things that they're doing, but we can still see their heart, right? And see that we all have a story and that we're all coming from something or somewhere, you know, and that, um, you know, we don't really have a right to judge. Right. And that, you know, we, maybe somebody isn't our cup of tea, but Hey, maybe we're not their cup of tea, you know, like there's so much, um, perspective on like how I want to be treated and how I want to treat others. And like, even if people aren't living by that or by the standard that I've set, that doesn't mean that I can't live by that standard. Um, and that's important to me. So getting to that place where I'm like moving past a lot of the weird negative feelings that I've been holding on to and like going, okay, like that was, that happened, but also seeing how that was a part of my journey and my path and how even in those things, they strengthened me instead of holding on to, you know, the negative parts, being thankful that those things happen so that that, that strength can, um, be developed in me. So, you know, that's one of the things that's happening is giving me the opportunity to, you know, um, see myself and see, um, where I haven't matured or where, um, I'm not seeing the whole picture or, um, you know, how I've allowed my feelings to be so much bigger than the lesson, you know? Um, and it was like a bug trying to get on my drink can't have that. And of course now, you know, I want to take a sip. So basically, you know, one of the things I really was like thinking about before I started doing this this year 
was the fact that like I'm tired of being affected by other people so much you know and I truly believe that I'm an empath like um I did not call myself that someone you know I was referred to that way and then I was like well what the hell is an empath and then you know I looked into it and I was like okay that's a real thing like and I I do have that and it's um I realized through my years of like learning what an empath is and being more of aware of it or whatever that empaths are created just like narcissists are so um i was a created empath you know now were those abilities in there who knows um but i'm a very strong empath um and it's also coupled with um being able to read people very well and this is all when you come from environments where you have to be aware of yourself on 24 sevens because you're worried about messing up and things like that. So, um, and I think that we all have a story and we all have reasons why certain things have been developed in us, even narcissists. Um, I have a lot of empathy for narcissists, but that's how we all get snared by them, isn't it? We're like, ah, they hooked us, um, because we can see their story and we can see their heart. Um, you know, and, that always will hook an empath because obviously when we see somebody's story and we see their heart, we see past some of the negative things that we're doing, you know, and plus, you know, like me, um, sometimes in our worlds, we're like, um, kind of made to accept people or set things that make us feel uncomfortable because we're kids and we're not supposed to say anything, especially when I was growing up, you know, kids were not necessarily to be seen and not heard, but we definitely were not heard. Um, you know, we were considered, but not like that. Like we didn't have a say about nothing, you know, <laughs> excuse me. But anyways, um, I just like started rambling on there. So I just really like see myself right now in a way, um, that's, kind of trippy you know like I said just being really self-aware and like being able to observe my thoughts like I don't even know if I could have like said oh I'm going to observe my thoughts like I didn't think oh I can be the an observer of my own thoughts the way that I think of it now like have I been able to observe my own thoughts yes but have I been able to articulate it in such a way not exactly because now I actually am an observer of my thoughts like I see them playing out and going oh I'm not being dictated by this emotionally, but this thought is still here. And that isn't going to draw anything good to me. I'm not going to have good people experiences if I'm thinking negative things about people like, oh, people suck. And they're always like trying to fuck me over and, you know, or blah, blah, blah. Or, you know, or why did they do that? And it, all those little stories that flow through our minds about people and the things that they've done or said or like what how we wish it would have been different or what we would have said to them or you know, all those different things. It's like, it just takes up so much time and energy and space in our head. Um, and it's takes strength to like admit that to yourself and kind of like walk through it and go, okay, that person really hurt my feelings. And I don't want to hold on to this resentment about that anymore, you know? Um, or like, my husband really was going through it and he really sucked. It was like not there for me or my wife or who, you know, whatever the, whatever, whatever, um, you know, your partner and freaking like holding on to that resentment. Like for me, my husband lied to me about something that was really stupid last year. And the way it played out was really like, felt like a really big betrayal. And even though it wasn't that big of a deal, but the way that it played out made it a bigger deal. So, you know, I hope you can relate or like, you know, I hope I, I'm getting that through. Like, um, you know, and that, like, I felt so betrayed and I remember just being like so hurt and angry and it just sent me into such a dark place and I could not get over it. And now I'm so grateful that that happened. It was the best thing that happened to me. I was, I thought that I was doing good and I was like sleepwalking through my life. Um, and I had learned so much about the world around me and I wasn't like allowing myself to accept that like, for instance, you know, doing what I'm doing right now is the way to kill your body and clean it. I didn't want to accept that we really were truly being lied to, like, about everything. And, you know, so, um, you know, it's interesting how a year's time, because literally it happened like a year ago, um, how much perspective one can have in a year about themselves and about life. And like, I needed that to happen. I needed to like get to the, the guts of myself really, truly. 
I did. Because um, my guts were in denial about how, um, how the condition of myself, like mentally and emotionally and stuff. So that kind of like sent me into a place where I really had to like face myself and see like how um, I wasn't as stable as a person as I thought I was, that my health and my mental health and all that stuff was um, on a decline because, you know, my health it was, you know, my, it was a, my health was affecting my mental health. Um, so, and I know I keep like kind of rambling about that throughout this video, but it's like so important. Like, I really want to like drive that home, like how much that's changed since January. Um, and that just like a couple weeks before that, I felt like I was in the depths of despair, you know, and the road that I was going down was so fucking bleak. It was like, what am I going to do? You know? And then I was just like, I know what to do. I'm going to fast. And then I'm, you know, and then I started going, I'm going to juice fast and then I'm going to, I'm going to be raw and I'm going to. You know, and then and then I'm going to really juice fast, like I'm going to do it. And now here I am. I'm on day 50. So um, I feel really strong um, and I feel really proud of myself right now. And I don't know if I'll continue to feel like all good about myself like this, but I really like the way that I feel right now. I feel like um, I can kind of see when I look at myself, I can see the difference. Um, one of the things that's kind of hard for me, though, I'm going to be hella real, is that, um, you know, I've lost... Um, quite a bit of weight. Today I was 202 this morning. Um, and in the last couple of years, you know, I went from 288. So I'm almost 90 pounds down. And that's a lot of loose skin, especially for somebody who hasn't worked out. And I've been dehydrated all these years and all that kind of stuff. So um, I don't believe, I don't know if this is going to be like some you know, miracle thing. And then at some point my skin in the next couple of years will snap back. I don't, I, I just, I'm not holding on to that. Um, but I'm hoping that coupling this with exercising down the road will help me to like build back some of the muscle, like in my chest and, you know, cause everything just feels like there's lots of skin and like a lot of droopage, like even on my eyelids and my face, like I lost so much weight in my face that I feel like it's just so wrinkly you know, like, I don't know. I feel like, is this like trying to like dazzle my face or something? You can't see it, but usually it's like, there's so many, I feel like if you could see it. There's just little ones that like, even around my eyes and all this kind of stuff, like I'm hoping at some point, you know, I mean, I'm 45 years old, so who fucking knows, you know? Um, but we're, I'm curious to see like, what was affected by and like what's going to be able to be repaired and what is just damaged that's damaged. Cause I've been like this most of my life you know? Um, so yeah, um, I think that I will stop going on and on now. Um, but yeah, day 50 feeling good. Like subscribe if you haven't already and, um, hit the notification bell down there and it will let you know when I have a new video. I am, I just posted day 20 and today's day 50. So I'm like trying to get them caught up in the last couple of days. I've posted about five of them. So just since yesterday. So I'm um, just trying to get them all out. I got really behind and then I got behind and then I got more behind. Um, you know, so here I am like 30 days apart. So I'm trying to get them as much caught up as I can so that as I get to more deeper into it, like, you know, day 100, or day 20 that I'm already caught up and I'm like doing like regulars so that you guys can really see it in real time. Um, cause you know, I think anybody who's done something like this knows that it's just really personal as you're going through it in the beginning. So even though I was recording the videos, it was still like kind of fresh sharing all of my like personal thoughts and feelings and poop and all that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, I just was having a hard time wanting to post the videos. Like I wanted to, obviously that was my heart, but you know, just putting it all out there was still like really fresh and new for me. And it's, you know, you get to a point where you're like, fuck it, I'm just going to do it because I really, you know, now I'm at day 50 and I want people to like actually see that like you can go 50 days and still be pooping out black tar and gross stuff and parasites and like, you know, and I'm still alive and I'm still doing good. And, um, you know, you could be too. Thank you for visiting Earthly Love Medicine. Take care.